It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. It's the front page news. It's what's trending now. All right, y'all, I'm excited this morning. Our next our next guest is known as Grady Doc on social media where she posts videos breaking down the answers to medical questions in a way that anybody can understand. And we are so excited to welcome her back to the show. Y'all, please help me give it up for double HBCU grad Tuskegee and Meharry Medical College, proud member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and professor of medicine at Emory University School of Medicine based in Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta's Grady Hospital, Dr. Kimberly Manning. Yes, <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I love that intro. I'm glad you wrapped all my stuff. Thank you. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Y- I- y'all remember y'all had me down for Delta Week at Ski when I was an upstart comedian. Y'all paid me $150, so I appreciate it. Hey, and you know, we set it out. That's how we do. You know, you, you already know. I'm, I'm so excited to have you on this morning. Uh, you are making it uh, your personal mission to persuade communities of color uh, to take the COVID-19 vaccine. Tell us why, um, you know, tell us why, because you weren't so sure about it at first. Well, first of all, I want to revise the word persuade. I think that um, the, the more important thing is I just want people to be able to make an informed decision and have as much information as they want, as they need to make the decision that's best for them. Of course, we know that historically there's so many things that have impacted people who look like us in this country. And for that reason, many people, you know, are, are not sure. It's a big decision for them. And I think that if you have a lot of factual information from people that you trust that that didn't just jump on social media like a, a week ago, right? I've been at Grady for 20 years. So, you know, this is not a new thing for me. Um, and I just think that knowledge is power and everybody deserves to have it. Right. Now, um, you know, now some of the people, you know, kind of reported feeling under the weather after getting uh, the second shot. What are the typical yeah. symptoms uh, that, okay. that? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's real. So with my first uh, shot, I, I got the Moderna vaccine. So that's the first and foremost thing I want to mention. Um, the the first one, my arm was sore. I got it in my non-dominant arm. So I'm right handed. I got it on the left. It was a little sore, like somebody kind of, you know, punched me on my birthday in the arm. Right. Right. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, right. And, right. Um, the second dose, though, I got mine on a Friday afternoon. I was fine. Had a, you know, date date night with my Omega man. And um, the next morning, <laughs> the next morning I felt um I really felt like I had like a little flu-like illness. I, I had kind of a low-grade temperature. I felt crummy. Now, interestingly, my mom, um, who turned 74 yesterday, had her second dose. She felt a little bit tired, but she kind of kept it moving. Um, so it's really a wide variety. I do think it's fair to tell people, though, that when your immune system starts, you know, going in on, on, on all of this, you know, this immune response and preparing to protect you from COVID-19, you know, you will feel something. Sometimes it's tired. Sometimes it's as much as, you know, uh, like a mild flu-like illness. But usually, no matter what, it's, it's usually better by about 48 hours. And it is worth it to protect you from the serious disease that you could get from COVID-19. Well, Dr. Kim, when you got your second shot, did you get in the, in the same arm? You know as what? I did. I, I did. I did get it in the, um, in the same arm. But, you know, again, with my second shot, most of my symptoms were not, you know, um, focused on the arm itself. The first one, I had arm soreness, but the second one, it was more my whole system felt kind of, you know, tired and run down. And again, right. this is this is not because you've been given, you know, the virus, right? It's because right. of your immune response, your immunity, your body is saying, all right, we're going to make these antibodies. We're getting ready to, you know, develop this memory so that if you get presented with the real thing, COVID, then you know we'll have an, we'll have we'll be ready to fight. Now is that why they call it a uh, COVID arm? Because you keep getting shot in the same arm. Can you tell us what that means and how to treat that it? What is, is COVID so arm? Okay, well <laughs> let me tell you something. I I I, I think that might be like a, a non scientific uh, term, sis. You know, like the uh, the COVID arm. I can tell you if there is a COVID arm, I felt it. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but but you know, I, I will say that um, you know, my, my arm was 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 sore enough where like you know, if you're a person who gets up in the morning and works out, it, it kind of would have limited. I, I didn't work out, <laughs> but if I did that day, um, I, I would have uh, probably uh, it probably would have limited what I did. But again, you know, 48 hours of you know feeling a little something. 
to protect you from potentially, um, you know, being in an intensive care unit or being disabled, um, I think is, is significant. And for people who are like, hey, you know, most of the people I know who got um, COVID-19, they are fine. They, you know, they lost their smell a little bit, no big deal. But the thing about it is it's kind of a bit of a Russian roulette. You know, you, you know, there is a bullet in the chamber for somebody and you don't know. Right. If it's coming. <laughs> Damn, that's true. I mean, that's real. I mean, I'm just no. saying it, it, right. a lot of people are fine, but, but everything is fine till it's not right. 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 So, <laughs> so Dr. Manning, so with this uh, Johnson and Johnson vaccine that's coming out, how is yeah. that different yeah. from the other two? The, uh, the, now, the ones you know what? That, that is that is such a good question. You know, what? You know, all of these different choices, it reminds me when you go to the nail shop and they give you that basket with 500 yeah. colors and you're like, I don't know. Or when um, you go to the weed oh, store and you get options. Oh, when you go to the weed <laughs> store. Yeah. You want Jackie, you want Curly. Um, okay. No, but we digress. The way we digress. Okay, so... Um, the, the the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, yes, it uses a different technology. Okay, so before when we were talking about the first two, Moderna and Pfizer, those use something called mRNA technology, which we kind of talked about a little bit before when um, I was on here before. But um, that one is one um, where they use a um, a little small piece of like the the you know, genetic information or mRNA that sort of codes for the spike protein. Um, which is the thing on the outside of the COVID um, that causes you to get sick. And that's what your body develops an immune response against, right? Now, the Johnson & Johnson one, some of the things that people have heard about it is that, one, it's a one-dose vaccine. But it also uses another technology, something called viral vector technology. Now, we're about to nerd out for a minute. I don't know how how hard y'all want to nerd out, but we're going to nerd out. Come on, okay? come on. So, nerd out, nerd out, nerd, nerd out. out. Let's nerd out, y'all, because, you know, we, we are smart and brilliant people, right? So... Um, the, the, the viral vector technology, what they do is they take um, a virus, um, specifically the virus they take is one called adenovirus. And adenovi- this adenovirus that they use is one that doesn't really typically um, get infect human beings. But what they do is they take the virus and then they gut it out. So it's like empty and it just has the shell. And the reason why that matters is because if you're going to deliver the information that is needed to your body, to the cell, to be able to start making an immune response, it needs a vehicle to get into the cell, okay? Mm. So with the mRNA vaccines, they use like this thing called a lipid layer to get into the cell. For this, they use the shell of another virus that's been inactivated and gutted out. Now, now you have that shell, but you don't want to just, you know, have an empty shell, right? What then has to happen is inside of that shell, they put the genetic information for the spike protein, that same spike protein that yes. we talked about before. Yes. And using that shell, that is that is what is in the vaccine for the Johnson & Johnson. Now, let me tell you why this is significant. Viral vector technology and viral vector vaccines are much easier to make. They are much easier to store. And, and, and for that reason, um, it will, they will probably be able to make much more of it. Now, um, I think of the viral vector almost like is if you wanted to go into the drive-in movie theater, but you were on foot, right? But you need to get in, there, right? You need a car to get up in there. Right. Um, and the car to get up in there is the viral vector. But once you get in there, you don't want the car to start driving all around and hitting people, right? So you take the engine out. And so the viral vector, just remember that that virus, that viral vector, it, it, it doesn't do, it can't do anything. It can't infect you. All it can do is bring in that material that you need to start to develop the immune response. Oh. There's one other point I want to make about that. Oh, my that. God. Pastor is, Kim, can is, I is, call you? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but, but you know what? It's a difference of the um, efficacy. I think um, your listeners are going to be like, yo, wait a minute. I heard that the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine, they have um, 95% efficacy. And then it's Johnson & Johnson. One dose one only has 66% efficacy, right? Well, check this out. Um, what you need to know is that both of those different vaccines, right, what they both do really, really well is they they, they prevent, prevent you dang near 100% from getting serious disease from COVID. So if your hard endpoint, right, if your hard endpoint is not being in the ICU and not being hospitalized, which is what is how we describe or define that serious illness, right? Both of those vaccines do a dang good job, right? And 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 I think that that's something to think about. So it may work for you to get a one dose vaccine, um, and that be it. And and the only reason this one is one dose is because that's what they studied. The efficacy they looked at in their studies and in their trials 
was for a single dose. Uh, man, listen, I, I'm so, oh uh, my God, that's some good me information. Too. Let me tell you something. You made me proud for my, my first, my only uh, year at Tuskegee, man. just to be associated. I'm, 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 you made me proud, proud as a woman. <laughs> hey, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a marching crimson piper, right? Thank you. You know, I'm a marching crimson piper, right? <laughs> you're my, what? So wait, if you were there for only one year, you were like just, you crabbed and then I crabbed, I crabbed the band, but come on, everybody. Everybody. Hey, everybody. Come on. Come on. Hey. 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 They're ready for us to ball and parlay. We ball, we parlay, and then we do our work. And you then are, we learn it. You already right. know, man, marching from that band cottage on down that hill to that field. Come on, don't get me started. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Listen, y'all, the Grady Doc, Dr. Kimberly Manning. Let everybody know real quick how they can follow you. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Grady Doctor. I mean, uh, you know, I, I do share stuff on, on Facebook, but that's usually just under myself. So um, please, you know, I, I just knowledge is power. Go see your doctor, get vaccinated. Ask your questions, every why, every reason that black people feel your, your concerns, they matter. And I'm not trying to persuade you. What I'm doing is offering you the information that you deserve so that you can make the informed decision that is best for you and your family. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Kimberly Manning, more Rick and Scott, the show coming up. The show coming up.